Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Vlogoween. So for today's video, this was actually brought to you guys by my Patreon members. I asked them, they said yes to do this. So if you guys did not see back in June, July and August, and I think some parts of May, I did a massive declutter of my entire makeup collection. Well, well, I actually saw that not too long ago, Paige did something very similar, although she did something really unique. She did a makeup declutter marathon, which she actually combined all of her declutter videos and to like two or three part long, long marathon videos of all her previous declutters. And I thought that was such a genius idea. So in today's video, you guys are gonna see part one out of my two part marathon declutter series. Today you'll see my primers, foundations, concealers, setting powders, lips, single eyeshadows, mascaras, brows, eyeliners. You're going to see all that combined into one long video. And then tomorrow you guys will see my blushes, bronzers, and eyeshadows combined into one long video. This is just kind of getting you guys prepped for my declutter that's going to be happening in December. I told you guys I was going to be doing one. I told you guys I was going to be doing one every six months. So consider this like a refresher. Have you guys seen these videos? Yes. But if you haven't, enjoy the long, long declutter that I filmed a couple months ago in one long video. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right on in. guys as you guys can see this is a mess <laughs> well this whole drawer is a mess let's just be honest here but this in particular y'all we need to work on this situation right here so as you guys know I am as of right now a full-time beauty content creator here on YouTube so it is my job to test out a lot of new makeup see what works for me what doesn't work for me and you know, every so often I do like to do declutter series. I did one back in December, but I want to do one again in June and then one again back in like November, December. I want to do this like pretty much every six months so I can get rid of what I don't use and only have what I actually do use because this to me is a little bit ridiculous. All right, guys. So before we dive into this video, um, I kindly ask, please don't, please don't ask for this makeup. Don't be that person. I'm going to donate what I can, give away what I can, and sell what I can. I do the best that I can. Some of these products are in great condition. I'm going to obviously sell some products that are gently used. I'm gonna give to my friends. And if I do have any unopened products, I'll probably end up trying to donate one those ones because a lot of the women's shelter around here are now accepting unused or unopened products. A lot of them are not really asking for like the used products. I don't know if it's like a sanitation issue, but I just talked to a shelter this morning and they're asking for unused products. So I'm gonna try to do what I can. So with that said, I'm gonna set the camera up guys and we're gonna go ahead and get this started. Okay, so here are all my primers right here. Now, obviously I definitely have some favorite primers in here and there's some primers in here that I generally just don't use. So it's time that we do kind of pass them on and move them forward. So I'm gonna kind of go over each one individually. So up first, we do have my Milk Makeup. This is the Pore Eclipsing primer. I love this primer. I would never get rid of it. It is one of my absolute favorite primers. This one's actually almost empty. So as soon as this one's empty, I do have a backup replacement right over there. I will replace it with this, but this is definitely a keep. We do have the one size. This is the Secure the Sweat. Originally, I first liked this. Originally, originally I first tried this. I absolutely hated this primer because it peeled, but after some trial and error and some practices, I actually am able to get this to work for me. I do have to put it on like five to six minutes prior to makeup application, but it works beautifully. Then we do have the Milk, this is the Hydro Grip right here. Another one of my staple products in my makeup routine. Absolutely love this primer, not getting rid of it. Then we have the Glow Wish from Huda Beauty. Now, I don't know how I feel about this primer. This is gonna be like a maybe. This is gonna be a maybe. We're gonna put this off to the side because I really don't find myself using this that often. It's a silicone based primer and I'm definitely more of a water based primer. So we're gonna kind of put this one off to like the side. Then we have the Tarte. This is the Smoothless Primer right here. I'm definitely going to hold on to this because this is something that I wear on my days off when I'm not wearing any makeup, but I want my pores to be nice and filled and have like a nice smooth base. I do go into this primer right here. We do have the One Size Secure the Blur. This is another fantastic primer. Great for oily skin, so I'm definitely going to hold on to this. Then we do have the L'Oreal. This is the 24-hour matte setter. Honestly, I do not like this primer. I felt that it did nothing for me. I used this like two or three times. I can't get this to work, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. Then we have L'Oreal. This is another one. This is the 24 hour pore minimizer. And again, I feel like this says nothing for me. I tried this two or three times. I cannot get this to work. So we're going to go ahead and declutter this one. Both are very, very almost brand new because there's so much product in here. Then we have the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I actually do like to pair this with my Milk Hydro Grip. So I'm going to hold on to this one. It's a pretty good primer. Oh, Becca Evermatte Poreless Perfecting Primer. This was my favorite for so long so long but unfortunately since becca is no longer 
around like the company sadly is gone this is pretty much brand new this has only been used two or three times i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this because i just know i'm not going to use this one as much as i am the other ones i just found other primers that i love more that really kind of get the job done this was fantastic for like filling the pores and keeping you mattified but i just found better products so we're going to go ahead and declutter this we have the nyx marshmallow primer this is another beautiful primer i'm definitely going to hold on to this one i feel like this one does such a wonderful job for making my makeup last all day and be so nice no so nice and smoothing we have the color pop this is the no filter primer I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile because I only tried this like twice. We're gonna put this in the maybe pile. Then we have the Nikia Joy Cosmetics. This is the matte base primer. I really do enjoy this primer. It's not as great as my other primers when it comes to matte bases, but it definitely does get the job done. We have the e.l.f. Power Grip Niacinamide Primer. This is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to keep this one. Same with my Glow Recipe. This is the Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops. Another fantastic primer. Definitely gonna hold on to this. Then we have the Maraud. This is the oil. This is the oil and pore control mattifying primer i only use this one time so i don't really have an opinion on this i want to get this another go before i declutter this so we're going to hold on to this one this is a l'oreal this is a, a magic skin beautifier this is a bb cream this is an anti-redness we're going to go ahead and declutter this this is still fairly fair this is still fairly new i only been using i only used it twice i just realized that i like other primers more than this so we're going to go ahead and pass this along we have the elf poreless perfecting primer use this two or three times and i'm just not a fan so we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one we have the benefit this is a pore professional pore filling primer smells amazing but definitely gonna pass this along then we have the nyx freezy i use this two or three times like bare i barely use this like two or three times i just feel like this just kind of itches my faces itches my face i'm just generally not a fan of this particular primer so we're gonna go ahead and pass this one along next we have the nyx this is the bear with me i actually really like this primer i don't know why it's like really cooling really smoothing and it's just i don't know it's something fat i'm fascinated by this primer so we're gonna hold on to this we have an unopened becca ever matte poreless perfecting primer i'm gonna go ahead and pass this along we have two of the milk makeups i'm gonna keep these because these are my favorite primers so i'm gonna hold on to these we have an elf power grip i've never even used this one i don't really know what how i feel about it because i never used it however i do have the power grip plus four percent i said I'm going to hold on to that one, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. The e.l.f., we have a Kimchi Chic Power Grip. I have not used this, so we're going to hold on to this one. Same thing as the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. I'm going to hold on to this one as a backup. <sighs> I'll think about these two. I'll think about these two. So then next, well, I kept more than what I should have, but I still really do like these primers. So we're going to move on to foundations. Alrighty, so moving on to foundations. I don't even know where to start. So first off we have right here, this is the Flower Beauty. This is the matte smoothing primer. This was mixed up into my foundations. I'm not a fan of this primer, so we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Um, we'll start, I guess, with like back here. So up first, we do have these two foundations from Ofra. I really do love Ofra Cosmetics. I really do enjoy their base products, and I really did enjoy their foundations. However, you guys can see one here has separated, but I'm pretty sure if I just shake it up, it'd be brand new. I just find myself not really gravitating to these foundations as much as I used to. I definitely found some more holy grails for me in terms of foundations, so it's time for me to let these ones go. This one is still like in mint condition. Let me see if I shake this one up. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter both of these right here. We have this Makeup Revolution IRL Filter Foundation. Um, it's not the right color for me. I definitely don't find myself picking this up as much as I used to, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along. I just prefer other foundations, and I'm just generally not the biggest fan of Makeup Revolution. I'm trying. I'm trying to like this brand, and I'm struggling. We have the Tarte Cloud Shape Cup. We have the Tarte Shape Tape Cloud Coverage Foundation. I did really like this foundation, but I don't really use it as much as I used to. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. I'm gonna kind of look back on my old videos when I use this to kind of gauge what I thought about it still because it's been a minute. So we're gonna put this in the maybe pile. We have the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream Foundation. I got a good use out of this, but honestly, I really don't grab this foundation as much as I used to. It's a beautiful foundation. There's nothing wrong with this. It's just I prefer other foundations. So we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one. We have my Shella Tilbury. This is the Beautiful Skin Foundation. Now, a lot of people out there did not like this foundation. I actually really did enjoy it. However, I find myself not using it nearly as much as I used to. It's been a really 
hot minute since I probably picked this up. So we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I have my Estee Lauder. This is a powder foundation. I surprisingly like this powder foundation. This is the only one that I find that generally works for me. Everything else just does not work. I don't know what it is. I just am not a fan of powder foundation. My unfortunate situation is that I bought a refill. I didn't actually buy the one that comes in the compact. So <laughs> I have a refill, so I have to keep it in its box. It's a beautiful powder foundation. I only use it on hot days when I'm going to the I'm going to Disney and I just want to have like a makeup to make it look. This is what I use. So we're gonna hold on to this one. Next, I have the Maybelline. This is the Superstay 24 Hour Powder Foundation. At first, I really loved this. I did. I really loved this. However, I have tried this several times since I first did my video and I just don't like it. It peels. It doesn't stick the way that it once did. This one viral and I I guess I get why it did, but I just it's a no for me. We can declutter her. Next, we do have these two Lancome foundations. I just recently tried this in a full face of PR makeup. I have a full vlog coming out this week where I actually did an all day wear test. I wore this to the pool. I wore this working out. I wore this all day and I'm just going to tell you guys right now, this was beautiful. It held on beautifully. I'm definitely going to keep both of these because I feel like both of these were my perfect combo. So we're going to hold on to these. Next, I have the Milk Makeup. This is another powder foundation. I only use this once. Only use it once. And I just don't get the hype around it. I really, really don't. I wanted to love this, especially because it's supposed to be for like oily skin and whatnot. But I just... Y'all, I couldn't, I couldn't get into this. So sadly, we are going to declutter. Same thing with the One Size Beauty. I tried to get into this powder foundation. I really did. But again, powder foundation and me, some reason we're not, we're not friends. I don't know what it is. It's like, I want to like you, but like, you don't want to like me. You don't want to work with my skin. I don't know if it's because I'm putting on primer. I don't know what it is but it just doesn't work for me. So we're gonna go ahead and say bye-bye. Now this is a really beautiful foundation. I don't really have much left of this, but this is a transfer proof, water resistant, long wear foundation. This is great for the summer season. She's a little pricey. Well, I mean, she was for me at the time. It was $55 when I bought it at the time. I don't really know what the price is now, but I'm gonna hold on to this because it generally is a really good foundation. You know, this was actually the second time I repurchased this foundation. For a long time, I really did enjoy the Morphe foundation, but I just find myself never grabbing for it anymore. There's nothing wrong with it. I just personally just like other brands, other products more than this one. So we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Okay. I have two of these. The other one's my perfect skin tone. The other one's not. And I don't remember which one I think is better for me. I think I think it's 3C1 because this one's a little bit fuller than this one. But this is absolutely fantastic for oily skin. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful formula. Great to lash you all day long. So I think I'm going to keep this one. That's the 3CN over the 2N1 just because this one is full. And this one's a little bit more on the emptier side. And I think it's definitely the wrong color. So we're going to hold on to this one. Okay, so next, let's see what we have next. Okay, so next we have this flower beauty this is the light illusion i do not like this this is too illuminating for me i'm very much about loving the matte base because i'm very very oily so even though there's nothing really wrong with foundation it's just not my, meant for my skin type so we're gonna go ahead and declutter this next we have the makeup revolution the next we have the makeup forever hd skin foundation this is a beautiful foundation i grab this a lot very beautiful, very full coverage, very long lasting, especially really oily skin. So we're gonna hold on to this one. Then we have the Kim She Chic. Now I only wear this every so often because this is very, I mean like very full coverage. This will make it so that you are so dry in the face, um, but hopefully I'll wear this during the summer to see how well it combats against the oil. And if it doesn't work, we'll go ahead and pass that on. Now, now we have a Makeup Revolution. This is Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I have never tried this foundation. It's never even been opened. So, I don't know. I don't know. What should I do with this one? Should I try it? Should I not? I feel like I should try it, right? I feel like I'll try it. I'll try this. I'll try this in a new face of like new makeup in a video coming up. Then we have the NYX Blurring Tint Foundation. I love this foundation. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Gonna hold on to this. We have the Maybelline. This is the Superstay Up to 30 Hour Foundation. Honestly, um, it's really not bad. I don't wear this one by itself because it's a little bit deep for me, but mixing with other products is actually not a, bad pro not a bad foundation. So we'll hold on to this one. Then we have the Laura Mercier. This is like the real skin foundation. I did not like this foundation. It just did not work for me. I just found myself getting super oily. Didn't like how it looked on the face. We're gonna go ahead and pass this one along. We have the one size foundation right here. She's got a lot of love. It's not my favorite foundation, but it definitely does get the job done, especially in hot summer days. So we're gonna hold on to this. Next, we have the Chanel number one foundation. This is such a beautiful foundation. Like, 
holy crap this is stunning it does such a great job at making your makeup look beautiful smoothing blur smells like rich people's skin and it really does a great job of containing the oil and making your makeup last all day definitely holding on to this one ah my tried and true i love this for so long we definitely have to keep this one this is next to the laura infallible pro matte foundation i have worn this for years still try and true definitely gonna hold on to this one although she is literally almost empty but we're gonna hold on to this one up next we do the nars this is the soft matte foundation i love to pair this with my nars light reflecting advanced skin care foundation so we're gonna hold on to that revlon this is my favorite foundation we are not parting from this baby <laughs> we have the ColourPop pretty fresh fresh foundation surprisingly enough i don't hate this i i actually really like this foundation so we're gonna keep playing with this one we have the revlon illuminating skin foundation this is actually really good even though it's like really illuminating for some reason mixing this with like a matte primer it just works really beautiful i find myself using this quite often it's just a fantastic overall foundation also like i just like revlon just does it with foundations they do a really good job i really like this foundation however this shade is just a bit too deep for me but i do want to pick up a lighter shade see what happens if i mix them together because this is actually a beautiful foundation it doesn't get enough love i actually really like this foundation i felt like that just is full coverage it works beautifully on my face so we're going to keep playing with this one all right guys so next we did the kvd this is the good apple serum foundation i actually really do like this foundation i think it looks beautiful on the skin i still enjoy playing with this so we're going to keep this one and then we do have this. This is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This sucks. I do not like it. I could not get to work with me. I have tried this so many times, you guys. I could not get this to work. So we're going to go ahead and declutter this one. Okay, so this is where we are currently. This is like the keep. That's the declutter. Um, I'm not very proud of myself right now because obviously I'd want to have more declutter than keep. However my biggest thing it's so hard for me to find products that work for oily skin and quite a few of these products you're sitting for sitting right in front of me work for oily skin so it's hard for me to let them go however i'm making a note to myself if i don't use these or don't use certain products en enough by december they will have to be decluttered no exceptions and i want you guys to hold me to it so just keep tabs i want to post in my description keep tags on using my face let me know if you guys have seen these products used enough by december otherwise we'll have to declutter them because i want to make sure that i kind of go down to a very simplified drawer especially because i still don't really know the state of whether or not i'm moving and the less makeup the better for me personally but even if i wasn't moving honestly i still don't need this much makeup so i I'm definitely gonna hold myself accountable. This isn't as big of a big of a declutter that I wanted to be, but you know what? This is just the beginning because we obviously we still have all of my concealers and setting powders to go through, and then we have this drawer, which I feel like I'll be a little bit harder on this drawer because it is my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters, and I feel like I'll definitely be a little bit more cutthroat with this over like my bases when my bases is something that's i care about a lot because i'm really oily and i try to do everything i can to make it as less oily as possible so i'm gonna now organize this and we're gonna see what i kept what it decluttered like we're gonna count the numbers and then we're gonna kind of go from there Okay, so this is how this looked like before. And this is after. Here we are for primers. I ended up keeping 14 primers. So I did end up keeping the filter for the no filter from ColourPop. I'm gonna keep testing it out honestly. So I definitely kept it. So we have 14 primers that I that I kept. But then I also have 11 primers that I actually decluttered. So you know what? It's actually not the bad mix. I like to have a little bit more. I like to actually really declutter 14, keep 11. But you know what? It's a work in progress. I'm getting rid of all these ones you guys see. I'm decluttering all the ones you guys see right here. And then hopefully come December, we'll even have a little bit more of a bigger declutter. But this is what we're working with so far. Definitely not too bad. Okay, as for... Um, foundations i did want to i did keep this one so i can definitely retest it but if i don't use it by december we are going to declutter it so i kept 22 foundations not 
where I want to be, but I definitely still get a use of a lot of these foundations. So we're going to keep playing with them. I'm going to do a lot more shop my stashes, a lot more get ready with me where I'm actually going to be using the foundations that I don't always use as often. So I don't have to keep reusing this one, even though it's my absolute favorite. We'll definitely keep playing with more that I have in my collection so you guys can see what I'm working with. And then I ended up decluttering 13 foundations. Now, majority of these are actually still pretty much brand new because they've only been used just two, like two or three times if that they're still pretty full for almost every single one of them are actually pretty full except for these three right here the rest are full like full so i'm gonna definitely pass these along but this is what we have right now not as big of a declutter that i wanted it to be but definitely looking better than what it did um, I still might find a different way to reorganize them. So maybe I'm just like kind of still saying this looks cluttered. Maybe the biggest fact has to do with this side right here. But that's going to be my next video where I actually go through and declutter my setting powders and my concealers before we move on to the bronzer blush door that you guys see right here. Because this is uh no, no, no. And then eventually we're going to move on to this right here, which is my palettes. Last time I did a palette declutter. I got rid of over 100 palettes. I'm hoping to do the same thing this time around. So this is kind of where we are right now. It's not the most magnificent declutter. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people love to see massive declutters. And this one I kind of kept a little bit more than what I should have. But you know what? It's because I'm still playing and testing out some of these products. And I'm a work in progress. And we're going to do a six-month update from this point on. Okay, guys. So, so currently I'm a full-time content creator, which means that it's my job to constantly test out new makeup for you guys. Is why we have this right here. And I made it a goal of my I made it a goal to myself that every six months I was going to go through my collection and declutter what I no longer use and only have what I actually use because I don't want to have so much products because at the end of the day I feel like it's kind of wasteful and I just feel like I don't get to use everything like I once did and I just want to make sure I'm very mindful about what I use in my collection so as always please don't ask for this makeup it's definitely a little weird please don't be that person you guys be surprised um, how often this happens is why I do have to say it, but just know that I am going to donate what I can, sell what I can, and give away what I can. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up and we're going to get this started. Alrighty guys, so up first we do have our concealer drawer right here. Now if you guys don't know, concealers are actually my least favorite products from like the whole makeup line. I don't know what it is, it's just... I don't get excited about I don't get excited about concealers the way that so many other people do, so I could really care less about them. But there are a few that I really do enjoy, so we're gonna kind of be hopefully cutthroat with this right here. So let's go ahead and start off. So the first thing we have is the KVD. This is the Good Apple Serum Concealer. I actually really do love this concealer, so I'm gonna hold on to this one. You guys can see that it's pretty well loved. Another one of my favorites was the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Concealer. I had two of them, but unfortunately. For some reason, mine both leaked, so I had to declutter those back in December, but we're going to go ahead and hold on to this. She actually is almost empty, and when she's gone, I'll probably end up replacing this one. If not, then it's fine, but I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Next, we do the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. I actually like this one. Heather Austin just recently tried it in a video that we did together where she did full face of my favorite concealers. I actually didn't mind this one. I love the hyaluronic acid. It's actually more lightweight than it is full coverage, and I just find that it worked really well when using it with other ColourPop products, so I'm going to hold on to this one. You know, I wasn't a fan of this one. I really wanted to enjoy this. I know Teresa really loves this one, but for some reason, I just felt like it was too cakey underneath the lid. It just didn't blend the way that I wanted to. It got into every like nook and cranny under my eyes making my eyes look more weathered than normal and I just yeah I wasn't a fan so we're gonna let this one go we have the elf hydrating camel concealer I've actually found myself reaching for this one quite often I really do enjoy the formula I just feel like it's really hydrating it's very lightweight it just gets the job done of laying beautifully underneath the eye and I just I don't know, I'm really gravitating to this one, so we're going to hold on to this. If you have been on my channel at any point in time in the year of 2020 and 2021, and possibly 2022, you guys will have noticed that this was my absolute favorite concealer for the longest time. Now, I 100% will replace this concealer. It's just like a beautiful eye brightener. It's just literally, it makes your eyes look blurred. It makes your under eyes look so blurred, so soft, while brightening at the same time. There's something about this one that I absolutely love, so I'm definitely keeping this. Up next, we do have these two Ofra concealers. I actually really do enjoy these concealers. They're very full coverage. They're very brightening underneath the eye. I really do enjoy these. I don't think I need two of them. I need to figure out which shade is better for me. I can't remember if it's Fair Porcelain or Fair Ivory, so I'm going to keep one that's best for me. I don't need to have two and I'll figure out which one I'm going to keep but yeah I'm going to declutter one and keep one. Next we have the Jaclyn concealer right here. Honestly I'm going to 
I don't use this for underneath my eye. That's the thing. I do not use this for underneath my eye. However, I use one of the concealers. Let me show you. I use this one to cut out my brows. Actually, I think it's beautiful to cut out my brows. Sometimes I use it as like an actual like eye base before mess before eyeshadow because it's so drying and it dries so fast. So I think I'm going to hold on to this, but I'm no longer going to hold it into my concealer drawer. I'm going to hold this in my eyebrow drawer because that one's actually almost empty and I can still use this to carve out my brows. It's what I used to use my Tarte Shape Tape, Shape Tape for for the longest time and the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Those are my brow carve out situations and I just end up gravitating towards this so even though it sucks for concealer because it literally does suck for concealer it's too drying it's cakey it's just ugh, not a good product it's great for carving out the brows then we have this rare beauty concealer honestly I never use it I don't really recall my thoughts on it because it's been a hot minute but um I just yeah I don't know like I don't know I I don't ever use it. That's the thing. I don't ever use this. And I, oh my God, I feel like there's like a huge truck behind me. So if you hear it, guys, I'm so sorry. But I feel like I'm going to go ahead and let this one go because I never reached for it. And I really don't remember my thoughts on this, if I'm completely honest. So we're just going to go ahead and declutter this one. Okay, so up next, we have the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. Honestly, I probably used this two or three times and I still kept in its packaging. <sighs> It literally left no lasting thoughts for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this just because I found myself never reaching for it. Even though when I did try it, I still haven't, didn't reach back out for it. So we're gonna go ahead and declutter her. This used to be my favorite for so long. I really do love the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Concealer and Foundation Moment, but I don't ever reach for these ones anymore. There's nothing wrong with them. They are beautiful concealers when I use them. I just found myself using other products over this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass these two along. I tried to love this product. <laughs> I really did, but there's something about Makeup Revolution that I'm just not a fan of, you know, I'll keep giving the brand a chance. It's just, uh, it's, it's, it's just not to work in for me in the slightest. A lot of people hated the Milk Future Fluid Concealer. I actually really like this concealer, so I'm gonna still hold on to it. It worked really well for me. I know a lot of people out there said it didn't work well for them, but it worked well for me, so I'm gonna hold on to this one. I absolutely do love the Dominique Concealer. I love the metal application. Like, something about this application, it's so cooling. It just looks really beautiful underneath the eye. It's very lightweight, so it doesn't stick into any, you know, creaks and it doesn't stick any like nook and crannies underneath the eye. It's just a beautiful concealer. Definitely gonna hold on to this one. This concealer from Winky Lux is so full coverage, like really, really full coverage. This is something that I definitely want to keep playing with. It's a little pricey. It's like almost like 20 bucks for this concealer for like a drugstore, but I remember being so full coverage. I want to keep playing with this one before I kind of determine what to do with it. I really do love L'Oreal Infallible Wear products, but this one just wasn't it. So we're gonna go ahead and let this one go. Okay, so I swatched the two. This is Fair Ivory. This is Fair Porcelain. I'm going to keep the Fair Ivory one from Ofra and we're going to declare the Fair Porcelain one right there. Okay, so now moving on to setting powders. I'm so excited to move on to this category right here. So up first, we do have the setting powder from Well People. It's kind of dirty, which is really weird because I haven't really used this one that much. I did get it in a box of um, from the A1A Beauty box bundle. I actually think they took me off their PR list because I wasn't making content for them by themselves. I was mixing it in like a full face. I was mixing it in like a PR unboxing and not making them dedicated content. So I think they took me off their list, but I could care less. It doesn't bother me. But anyway, so I remember I tried this out and I generally just wasn't a fan of this one. So we're going to go ahead and declutter this because I just... I didn't think it worked well for my oily skin. Now this setting powder right here, this was actually given to me from Heather Austin. She absolutely hated this setting powder. It's like a water feeling setting powder. It's really weird. She said it didn't work well for her oily skin. And when I tried it out too, like it's so weird because it generally does feel like water, but I just didn't like it the way it felt on the skin. I didn't like the way it made my makeup look and it definitely did nothing for my oil. So we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I wanted to love this. I do. Everybody raves about this. Everybody says this is so good by the drugstore. It's so good. <laughs> why don't I like it? I just don't like it. I feel like the reason why I don't like it is that it's not that it doesn't blur the skin. Like it really does blur the makeup, but I just feel like the shade range, one is kind of piss poor and two, because if they don't have translucent shades, this is a color base, it just turns me yellow. Like this fair light shade just turns me yellow. I don't know what it is, no matter what I do, I just can't get this product to work for me. And it really sucks because I really wanted this to work. Everybody raves about this, but I just feel like because the fact that it makes me look like I have jaundice, I just can't get into this one. So we're gonna have to let this one go. This, <laughs> this right here, guys, I don't know what is in this product, but I do not like this setting powder at all. It's a very weird setting powder. 
it one is a very colorful powder and it also like beads up when i first tried this like i swear when i first put like put it in the cap those little beads were kind of bouncing and i was like oh my god is it alive it's alive and i got kind of freaked out but i've tried this quite a few times and i just really can't get this to work for me i realize that i don't do the best unless it's translucent i feel like it just changes like the look of my skin it makes me look like either too pale too yellow too dark than what i actually am so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Next, we have the Dominique Cosmetics Setting Powder right here. This is in the shade Translucent. I'm actually gonna hold on to this one because even though I don't always use it for the face, it's amazing for blending out eyeshadow. There's something about this particular setting powder that just does such a wonderful job at blending out the eyeshadow. And I also use it to set it underneath my eyes. It's a beautiful powder. We're definitely gonna hold on to this. And you guys can use code Ally save you guys 10% off if you guys ever shop at Dominique Cosmetics. I actually do have a few more powders sitting in my collection behind me. Um, she sent over their Brightening Pink Powder, which I've not tried yet, but I will put it in this collection, so I do wanna try it. And another translucent powder, but I went ahead and put that one into a giveaway because I don't need to have more than one. And that's like my absolute favorite, but this works really beautifully, so we're gonna hold on to this. I definitely don't think I need to say anything about this one. This is my absolute favorite. This is the Nikia Joy Cosmetics. This is the Velvet Finishing Powder. This is my all-time favorite powder from Nikia Joy Cosmetics. There's something about it that is just so smooth Thing. It's so blurring. It literally locks in makeup all day and it really does help to minimize the appearance of pores while controlling shine all day. I absolutely love this powder. I've been talking about it since I think 2020. You guys can use my code Ally, save you guys 15% off whenever you're shopping at the KJOY Cosmetics. This is going to be your best friend if you have oily skin. So we're going to hold on to this. <laughs> Next, we have my baby. My baby. This is La Mer. Okay. This this baby, she's expensive. She's like $110. Now I got this on a whim during the Sephora VIB sale last year. And I was like, Ali, what are you doing? This is $110. What is wrong with you? But I did it. And it was one of the best purchases I've ever made. Not only does this powder make your skin look so blurred and soft, but it really helps to lock in your makeup all day. Now it doesn't have the best longevity when it comes to controlling the oil, but it just makes your makeup look so smooth, so airbrushed. This to me is 100% well worth this. I will continue to repurchase just this it's $110 so I will stock up again in November and you guys were so sweet last time I did a live with me um you guys gave me some donations to do a La, La Mer replacement fund and trust me we're going to use that to get this which speaking of live guys I am going live this Friday at 7 p.m Eastern Standard Time where I'm challenging you guys to pick my makeup so make sure you guys are being there because it's gonna be a fun one this time so um yeah we're gonna hold on to this one next we have the um Dragon Beauty this is going to be a setting powder right here in the shade Invisible honestly I probably use this like once or twice. I really don't have any thoughts on this, especially since Dragon Beauty. I don't think it's a thing anymore. I really don't know if this brand is still around. Um, I don't even know if um, Nikki Dragon, um, Nikita Dragon is still even like a content creator at this point. So knowing that this is something that you can't really repurchase, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this just because I want to make sure that the powders that I'm using, because I really do value setting powders, I feel like they really make or break my makeup in particular. If I can't get a refill on it, then I just might as well just pass it along. So we're going to go ahead and pass this one along. Ball. Normally, I am so against HD powders because the last time I used an HD powder was long ago and I look like Flashback Mary. It was a very, very scary moment for me and for everybody who had to witness me. It was very scary. However, I decided to give this a try because I saw people talking about this on TikTok one day and oh my gosh, while at first it looks like you have a white cast on your face, it's really easy to blend out. But holy shit, this thing blurs your freaking face like there is no tomorrow. It locks in your makeup and it is so, so blurring. I would say it's just as blurring as the La Mer. Like it's just as blurring as the La Mer. The only problem with this is it does have just a little bit of a white cast. So you have to make sure you really do blend it out as thoroughly as possible. But my God, does it make your skin look beautiful? So I would definitely be holding onto this and I'll definitely be repurchasing this one. Next we do the Ofer Cosmetics. This is going to be the Brightening Pink Strawberry one. Now I've tried this out. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't really like the pinkness. The pink, it's too, it's too pinky for me. I feel like when I tried this out, you can just definitely see the pink tones. It doesn't blend out as much as I want it to. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one, this one along because I don't really use as much pink powder. I want like a Brightening Pink powder if I'm gonna try it. This to me just made it just look like I had pink under eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and pass this one along. Next we have my one size setting powder. I'm definitely gonna be holding onto this because if you have oily skin, this one's going to be for you. It does a great job at locking in the makeup, controlling the oil all day. It's a beautiful setting powder. So we're gonna hold onto this. Just like I'm gonna hold on to the smaller version of this, this is great for travel size. And if I ever can, I will take my bigger one and fill up a smaller one with it. So whenever I do travel, I, oh, 
whenever I do travel, I could just fill that one up and pretty much be good to go. Next, we do have the ColourPop. This is the No Filters Loose, loose Setting Powder. I still am trying this one out. Um, this one's going to be like a maybe for me because... I did like it when I tried it, but I still I still need to form more opinions on it. I still need to do more wear tests on this. So this is something that in six months, we're gonna double check, we're gonna check back on to see if I'm still using it. If not, we're gonna declutter it, but right now we're gonna hold on to it to keep testing it out so I can really make sure I give you guys the most thorough review possible. We have the Nikia Joy Cosmetics. This is the Velvet Press Powder right here. I actually really do enjoy this press powder. Now, I don't use this one nearly as often as I do the other one because it is a press powder and I don't really like press powders as much. However, this is great for on the go for touching up your makeup throughout the day it's beautiful to set into your pores when I do like my makeup no makeup look I will fill in my pores with my timeless smoothing primer and then I'll go over my face with this it makes my pores look so blurred and smooth and filled in and it really helps to lock in that oil all day so we're gonna hold on to this next we do the Ofra Cosmetics this is the mattifying setting powder I actually really do like this oil control setting powder so we're gonna hold on to this it does a great job at controlling the oil and you guys can use code Allie save you guys 20% off when shopping at anything Ofra oh Oh, she is almost empty. This is my Kimchi Chic Puff Puff Pass Setting Powder. I always mix this powder with my Nikia Joy Cosmetics. This has been a combo for years. Beautiful for oily skin. However, if you have dry skin, this may not be for you. Very, very mattifying. So if you have dry skin, this may cling onto your dry patches. It may make you look extra dry and cakey. This is really meant for like oily skin. It helps to really lock in that makeup. It's a really beautiful setting powder. So we're definitely gonna hold on to this. I have recently been trying this out and surprisingly, it's been holding up pretty well. I wanna keep playing with this one before I pass this one along. This is another one that we're gonna come back in six months to see how often to use it to determine whether or not I wanna keep it. But so far it's been working really, really beautifully and it's been doing a Good job controlling the oil but i definitely want to keep playing with this one and testing it out i have not tried this one yet i recently got this in a box a while back and i have not tried it but i saw somebody recently do a review on this on tiktok they took all these different setting powders they poured it in water and they saw which one actually got the brush soaked and which one did not and this one came back beautifully like it came back like the water wasn't breaking through this and you were going to hold on to it all day so i want to hold on to this and try this one out for the first time you gotta have my backup i need a backup of this so this is being kept then we do have my two jacqueline powders right here this is the brightening light banana and the brightening pink honestly i don't ever use these two in the slightest i don't know why i don't ever use them i think it's just because i'm not like the biggest fan of the brightening because i feel like you can't use this all you can't use this all over your face you can only use this for like under the eye and honestly i use jacqueline cosmetics like face it brightening powder like let me, let me show you this is what i use to set my under eye right here and i freaking love this palette right here i think it's beautiful i definitely have to replace those two shades right there sorry that's my neighbor <laughs> but i'm gonna hold on to this one i'm gonna go ahead and declutter these two setting powders because i generally don't use these setting powders at all I don't use these setting powders at all they're just great for underneath the eye but truly if you don't use it for anything else for me there's no use for me to keep them because I don't use it for underneath the eye and I just don't use it to set my face with so we're gonna go ahead and declutter these two right here okay so here's where we're at currently this is the keep pile that's gonna be the declutter pile again y'all I need some I need some <laughs> I have to start letting things go a little bit more. I'm definitely holding a little bit more, but I think the biggest thing, like I said yesterday, is that it's really hard for me to find products that work for oily skin. So when I do, I really kind of want to hold on to them. But I feel like this will probably be the hardest part of my declutters, minus the eyeshadow palette, It'll probably be like this, the biggest hardest. But I feel like these will be the second hardest. And then moving on to like blush and bronzer and highlighter will be a lot, lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up. We're going to reorganize this whole drawer. And then I'll show you guys what I kept and what I declutter and kind of go through the numbers of it all. Okay guys, so this is how the drawer looks like before. And this is after right here. Okay, so starting off, I actually kept eight concealers, but I actually decluttered eight concealers. So overall, I definitely think that's a great win-win where I kept eight for myself and I decluttered eight, definitely a 
that's a win-win in my situation because that's 50-50 split, which I really do like. Um, I kept everything right back here because these are just my eye bases. I love having my colored eye bases. I love my eye bases right here. So I'm not getting rid of any of my eye bases. So that didn't need to be worked on. But I'm really happy with how this looks now. At least I have a little bit more space for like my bigger setting powders, which wasn't really fitting over here. So moving on to setting powders, I actually kept 13 setting powders and I decluttered eight setting powders, which you guys see right over here. I just really do like setting powders. Obviously, I really oily skin so it's, I'm constantly testing them out. So I put everything right here. Now, the only thing did, that did get added was this Dominique Cosmetics one right here. This is the Brightening Pink Palette, the Brightening Pink powder that I have not tried yet. So I definitely want to try this out. And I put the backup. I had one more backup right back here as well. So these are my two spares that never even been opened. And then this is all my setting powders right here. So definitely needs a little bit of work on, but like I said, we're going to come back in six months and I'm going to declutter what I haven't used while keeping what I actually have. And I want you guys to keep tabs of it. Look in my description, call me out if you guys never see me using them so I can actually get rid of what I generally don't use. Starting off, we have my brow products. This is all my mascaras all of my ColourPop liners, and then we have my loose pigments all over here, single shadows, and then moving into like my loose pigments once more from Nikia Joy Cosmetics. Now, the store looks pretty organized and it is for the most part. However, I definitely wanna declutter some mascaras. I wanna declutter some eyebrow products and possibly declutter some of the loose pigments you guys see back here. This is all my Nikia Joy Cosmetics. Oh my God, that thing just dropped behind me and scared the shit out of me. Okay, so this is all my Nikia Joy Cosmetics. Um, these are all my loose pigments right here. Now, actually, and we'll be decluttering any of these, but I have quite a few from Unearthly Cosmetics to actually add into the store because I was sent their entire loose pigment collection, which I want to do a video for you guys. If you guys want to see it, let me down below. Let me know down below because I want to show you guys all of their loose pigments because, oh my gosh, they are beautiful and if you guys did not know you guys can use code ally dawson to save you guys 10 percent off when shopping at unearthly but yeah so i want to show you guys all their loose pigments and so i kind of want to reorganize this just a bit more because there's some stuff in here that i don't use anymore or i definitely want to have better organization so i'm gonna set the camera up we'll work on this drawer and then we will move down to this drawer that you guys see right here this is just all of like my extras products that i need to try and then just kind of overflow and I want to find a better way to store this, maybe get rid of some products that I'm just not going to use and kind of go on from there. And then we'll hit up this bottom drawer right here, which mostly this drawer consists of brushes and makeup bags. But again, I want to kind of go through here and see what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. So let me go ahead and set the camera up and we are going to get this started. Well, I went to lift this up and well, I just, I just dropped all my mascaras. God. I need a break. I need a break from life. Okay, so here is my brows and my mascara. We're gonna go through everything. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna keep and I'm not gonna keep. <laughs> this video is a video, guys, because it has been a long weekend and oh, just wait till my chit chat get ready for me. I'm gonna film it tomorrow for you guys because I, I have to, I just, I have to catch you up on my life right now, okay? Because it's lifing. But we're gonna go ahead and start off with this drawer right here. So I'm gonna kind of take everything out. I'm gonna show you guys what I wanna keep and what I don't keep. I have a lot of brow products because I do get monthly PR boxes from Benefit. So they're always stocking me up on my favorites, which I really do appreciate. But I also am realistic and I don't use every single thing that you guys see in here anymore. So I'm gonna kind of go through this and show you guys what I keep and what I don't keep. So starting off, we do have the Pal Made right here from Benefit. I absolutely love the Benefit Pal Made. This is phenomenal. This is already my second one that I have with them. It's in the shade three. Love, love, love this product. So we are definitely gonna be keeping this Pal Made for sure. Then we do have this Wonder Beauty. It's just a clear brow gel. But you know what? I really enjoy this clear brow gel. I think it does a great job at kind of filling in. I think it does a great job at like sitting on the brows, making them last all day without making them hard. So I'm definitely gonna keep this even though she's almost empty. These need to get washed, but these are my brow like brushes, but they need to be washed, but I'm gonna keep these. All right, we do have these two Jaclyn concealers. I only use these to, you know, clean up the brows with. So I'm gonna hold on to these. These are great for cleaning up the brows, but I don't use it for anything else. So I'm gonna hold on to these. And I realize that my nails look really nasty right now, but it is what it is. So up next, we do have this brow styler right here. I don't really use this because one, it's like a, I don't know, like a weird thing that you just like fill your brows in with this, right? But I just don't find myself ever gravitating towards this. And then you have like a little pencil, but I find this pencil be a little bit too thick for my taste. And I just don't think it does a great job at filling the brows anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and declutter this. <sighs> this will be the death of me. I hate this product. We're gonna declutter it. <laughs> Our two brow pencils that I got from Dominique Cosmetics. They actually sent over six, but I went ahead and I put four of them into 
a giveaway box for my Patreon members because I do small little giveaways over there for them. And um, I just, I really do like this product. However, I do notice one thing. You have to be, see, you have to be careful. This thing I'm noticing is breaking like crazy. I don't know what is going on with it, but like it's breaking like crazy. Now granted, there's more product underneath there. So like if it breaks, it breaks, right? But I also am just finding that maybe it shouldn't break this easily. So I'm struggling with it just a bit. However, it's a really great product. It does a great job of filling in the brows. I do enjoy working with it, but I just find that it breaks super, super easily. And I don't really like that, but I'm gonna hold on to these two because they are great brow products. We have the e.l.f. Um, Instant Brow Lifter. I just never use this. And um, well, she's also incredibly dirty. So we're gonna declutter this. We have the Brow Styler from Dominique. I really do enjoy this. So we're gonna keep this one. I have two of these products. One's a brow setter, one's a flip up brow wax. And I just don't use this brow wax at all you guys know how i feel about brow waxes they just give me a fluffy brow and i just i'm you know it's just not for me so we're gonna go ahead and declutter both of these i used to really enjoy the give me brow and precisely give me brow and volumizing brow pencil you have the little spoolie on one side you have the pencil right here on the other but i just don't ever find myself reaching for this again hello <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this just because it never really gets used anymore fantastic product from winky lux an amazing amazing brow pencil definitely keeping this moving on we have a backup of my pomade right here 100 percent keeping this because i do use the pomade all the time so this is definitely a keep we do have the brow freeze from abh I'm gonna keep it only because I feel like this can come in handy. When I did my challenge, this came in handy. So we're gonna hold on to it just for that. And then this is a loose shadow. This is a brow powder and I love this brow powder. I think it's fantastic. So definitely gonna hold on to this. All right, mascara time, mascara time. Now I love trying out different mascaras. I can never just wear one mascara. I do have to mix and match my mascaras all the time. Um, I'm just pretty pretty anal like that but starting off we do have the benefit roller lash right here definitely a keep in my collection i love this mascara so much it's one of my absolute favorites so this is definitely a keep we have the l'oreal telescopic lift um this you know caused lash gate but i tried this numerous times i just don't like this product i mean it's a cool concept where it's like flat on one side right here and then you turn it and it's nice and thick but honestly i just I'm never going to use this. I don't think it works well for me. It also bleeds like crazy. So we're going to declutter this. I have the Hoodie Beauty uh, one right here with the Hoodie Beauty lashes. I, what I do like about this is the one side. It's like nice and curved. And then the other side, we do have a pretty thick wand right here. But I just never really found myself reaching for this mascara anymore. So since I don't use it anymore, I don't think mascara has as long as the longevity as other products do. It can definitely build up bacteria. We're going to go ahead and declutter this. We have the Maybelline. This is their highly rated lash extension tubing mascara. This bleeds like crazy. I absolutely hate this mascara. So this, for me, is definitely a declutter because, well... I'm never going to use this. Same thing with this MAC. This is going to be a lash dry shampoo for your mascara. You're supposed to literally put it on your mascara like a couple hours into wearing it. It's supposed to, you know, completely revive your mascara and whatnot. But this was just shitty. It did nothing. Mine felt so completely dry. I feel like it did nothing but add like this weird like cotton texture to my lashes. I absolutely could not stand how that felt. Did not do anything except just make them more clumpy and separated and just, I hated it. Another big letdown from MAC. It's their MAC Extension Mascara. Again, this was another big letdown. I really wanted to like MAC mascaras, but I don't. I just don't like them. I don't think they work well. This is uh, not my favorite type of wand. It just felt really weird in the lashes, kind of dry, and I just was very disappointed. Next, we do have the ColourPop Level Up Lengthening Mascara. I love this mascara. I think it does such a phenomenal job at lengthening and lifting the lashes. It blends very, very well with my other mascara, so definitely gonna be keeping this for sure. We have another favorite mascara. This is one of my absolute favorites. It's the Ofra HD Volumizing Mascara. This is my second one because I really do love it. I use this every single time. I just find the wand works really well for my lashes. It just does a great job at lifting and coating lashes. It blends very beautifully with other mascaras when pairing them together. Fantastic mascara. Next we have the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Honestly, I really do love this mascara but she's kind of on her last legs. <laughs> she doesn't have too much left in her and I don't dig for this one as much as I used to. So we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one. This mascara is from Essence. It's a good mascara, but honestly, I prefer the other Essence mascaras that I have in my collection. This one just wasn't doing it for me truly. So we're gonna go ahead and let this one go. I really wanted to like this mascara from Touch and Soul, but I don't know. It just doesn't stand out to me. I like the wand size, but I can go ahead and pass this along. Same with this Tarte Light Lash Camera thingy. Um, just not for me. 
Next we do the Thrive. This is their, um, this is the Thrive Mascara. I love this mascara so much, but as you guys can see, you guys see that right there? She bleeds like crazy. I mean, like, look at that. Y'all, that's disgusting. Do we see that right there? It should not look like that. That just tells me this might not be as good anymore. But the good thing for me is that I actually do have quite a few backups of this mascara because it's a great mascara. But this ain't a look. That ain't a look. This is a... It's like creating its own cobwebs. You know what I mean? So I think it's time to let this one go. Another holy grail of mine is their Real Magnet Mascara from Benefit. Absolutely love this mascara it is amazing and i'll definitely keep repurchasing this because i absolutely love this sort of we're gonna keep on we're gonna keep holding on to this one i love this mascara i don't know what it is she's a thick one okay she is a thick one she has a thick one but there's something about it that i just i like it left it definitely does lift the lashes it sculpts them it does have a little bit of a harder bristle so like if you poke yourself in the eye it does hurt but i don't know it's just a great mascara it does a great job at setting the base for my mascara routine this is my lancome adol mascara and uh you know i like this mascara surprisingly enough i like it um it's a really good mascara so we're gonna hold on to this and i don't really have thoughts on it i don't recall my thoughts are on this i mean the wand size is nice but I don't really know if I've played with this enough. I'm going to hold on to it just so I can keep playing with it. If I don't like it, I'm going to declutter it. We have the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. Honestly, this is a perfect dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash. I'm definitely going to hold on to this because it's a great mascara. And it's super affordable compared to the um, Benefit one. This is from Lash Food. It's a lash conditioning lash primer. I absolutely love this lash primer. I think it's great. Sometimes I use this to set my base before I put in mascara. And just a great job to put on. Um, just just a great job at setting your lashes and getting them ready for mascara. This is from Makeup Revolution. I didn't hate this mascara, but I definitely didn't like become obsessed with it like I thought I was going to become. So we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one. We have the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. Honestly, was definitely not a bad mascara. I did enjoy working with it. I did enjoy using it, but this is pretty much empty. So we're gonna go ahead and just declutter this one as well. These are two backups. I'm gonna hold on to these because you can never have enough backup mascara. And then we have a Smoke Show liquid liner, but I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along because I'm never gonna use this. Okay, so now we're starting to move on to my liquid shadows. So up first, <laughs> I see that we have more mascara. Okay, so up here we have the Maybelline. This is the So Real, the Falsy Mascara. Some of you guys tagged me in this and tell me to try this. I actually did try it several times. I do not like this mascara. Some of you guys loved it and I really wish I could. The wand is too thick for me. It bleeds all over the lid and I just find that the longevity does not last very long on my lashes nor does it separate or lift. So we're gonna go ahead and declutter this. Next we have the Winky Lux So Extra, but... I don't recall what my thoughts are on this one. So we're going to keep this one to try it out again because I honestly don't remember really even trying this. We're going to try this one again. First, we do have these little shadow toppers from Ofer Cosmetics. I love these little shadow toppers. I think they're really beautiful. Perfect if you want to just add just a little bit of glistening shimmer to your lid, a little color base. They mix very well with matte shadows. We're definitely going to hold on to this one. And then I do have some individual shades from Davina Cosmetics. These are going to be like, um, like foils. I mean... I can get this to stay. Do you guys see that? Super, super pretty, right? Like, look at how pretty this one is from the, I can never say it. This one, super, super pretty. Great multi-chrome, so I'm gonna hold on to those ones. We also have some more individual ones. These are all from that same brand. Um, this one, <laughs> again, I don't know how to say the name. Actually, I had a wonderful subscriber, uh, Courtney actually sent these my way. And there's all these like loose little foils, so, we're going to hold on to these ones because these are super, super pretty. And I know they're like really expensive as well. And I want to actually play with these more. So we're going to hold on to all these ones because these are so pretty. Then we have this white shadow from Sugar Pill. This is my favorite white shadow in the entire world. It's the only one that gives the most pigment that doesn't like that gives the, the most pigment. It literally like goes on. It doesn't buff itself away. It is fantastic. So we're going to hold on to this. I'm realizing that I'm not decluttering anything. Same thing with all these. These are my loose pigments from Makeup a Murderer. I absolutely love this brand. I did a really fun video showing off these pigments. I have the neon version, the pastel version, and like the Christmas version in here. And literally a little bit of this goes a long way. Like you could just take it on the lid, tap it on, and these pigments will last you for a lifetime. They're so well worth it. Great investment. I'm gonna keep holding on to these ones. I have these two individual shades from Odin's Eye. This is part of like their single collections when they had their eyeshadow. I obviously don't need to use these because I have so many already. So we're gonna go ahead and pass these along because they've never been opened. So I'm gonna pass these two along. Then I have these shimmer shadows from Game Beauty. These were so, so pretty. 
so pretty but this one i think i had a little bit of issue with because it kind of came apart but oh my gosh look how pretty that is wow that's so pretty so pretty but i think i'm gonna go ahead and pass all these ones i think i'm gonna go ahead and pass all these ones along because i know i'm never gonna use these shades right here nothing against them it's just i have other foils that I think work better personally, in my opinion. This was such a fun collection to play with, but I just know what I'll be able to get more use out of versus what I won't. So I won't be able to use these ones as much, but they are super pretty, super, super pretty. Let me do have some glitter, glitter <laughs> let me do some glitter glue. I'm gonna absolutely hold on to this. We have a mixing medium from Nikia Joy Cosmetics. Definitely gonna hold on to this. And then we have these like four little naked shadows that I got from Naked Cosmetics. I actually only use, I think two of these. I have this one right here that I love pairing on top of like a neutral eye. I think it is so freaking pretty. Put like a little bronzer down, put this moment on top of it. Very, very, very stunning. So definitely gonna hold on to this shade. And then I also use this one right here. Again, another really, really pretty topper. Another one, super, super pretty. These just pair very well. I put down a little bit of glitter glue, put these on top of your lid and oh my God, so freaking pretty. I don't know if they still make these anymore, but these are unbelievably gorgeous definitely gonna hold on to these next up we do my super shock shadows if you guys saw my last declutter back in december i had the hardest time parting from my super shock shadows but i told you guys that i would come back to these in six months and i have not touched these in six months so i'm gonna declutter the entire thing that you guys see right here because eventually these these actually turn into rocks they don't say stay as consistent as they once was like yeah right now it can be really soft very vibrant but literally give it time it turns into rock or just loses complete pigmentation for all of it and i know i'm not going to use these so we're going to go ahead and declutter this right here now right here is all my eyeliners from ColourPop. there's a few jacqueline cosmetics in here all my loose pigments from the Joy cosmetics and some more eyeliner from unearthly and some more eyeliner from odin's eye i actually might pass this one along because i don't use this one but everything else right here i'm not going to declutter i'm just going to reorganize it because i love my liners you guys know my favorite liners in the world are the color pop ones these are phenomenal i will continue to buy them they break super easily easily but they're so worth it and then i absolutely do love my loose pigments from nikia dry cosmetics but i kind of want to organize this drawer just a little bit more maybe put the brows and everything else elsewhere because i just need to have more room in here so let me go ahead and just pull this all out so we can organize it in just a little bit but we'll move on to the next drawer okay so these are the loose pigments i was talking about from unearthly cosmetics like these are unbelievably gorgeous let me show you it's so hard to tell in the sliding but these are like little fairy dust shadows and oh my gosh they could go on dry go on wet you guys can mix them with a mixing medium or like glitter glue and these go on so vibrant they're just like the nikki joy cosmetics i could definitely do a whole video if you guys want me to really enjoyed playing with these and i have the whole bunch right here that i want to organize into the into the drawer so we're gonna do that really fast and then i'll move on to the next drawer or organize it move on to the next drawer okay i just put them all in here and i kind of put them in like colors so they're kind of like do like a little cute little like rainbow moment but i'll put this in that drawer and hopefully i could put some more like loose shadows with this to make it a little bit easier for me to like, organize it better move on to this drawer right here so this one might be a little bit easier this is just more kind of like reorganization because this has a lot of um beauty products that i still want to keep i'm just kind of like 
Well, some stuff in here is going to get decluttered for sure, but other stuff I'm going to keep. I just need to organize this a little bit better. So if anything, I'm just going to like set up the camera and if I declutter anything, I'll obviously show you guys what I declutter. But if I keep stuff, I'm going to show you guys obviously what I keep. But this is just more for organization because this is this was fully intended to be like my spare drawer. Like this is where I put all my new makeup in that I need to test and everything. But I think instead I'm just going to use like a bin like this and keep this on the side of my desk or like on the floor next to me because, well, I don't have room on my desk technically, but this would be kind of a cool way for me to see what I want to use and not use, and that way I can kind of keep track of everything. So let me set up the camera again, and then we're gonna kind of go through the process of organizing this once more. Okay, so before we finish this drawer, we're gonna go down to this drawer right here. So let's get this one started. Okay guys, so as you guys saw, I kind of pulled everything out of this drawer and I didn't really show you everything. So we're gonna kind of go through that as we put this drawer together. So up first, I do have tons of sets from Bling Brushes. Now I know this may seem like a lot, but there's a reason behind it. So up first, we do have this set from um, Paige Corn and Bling Brushes. This is round two. Whenever Paige has a collaboration, I always buy a set. So yes, I got sent one in PR, but I always buy one to support her. So that's when I purchase. I also purchased my own set as well because when I bought it, I wanted to support myself. So I bought my own set right here and it's good to have backups. This right here is right after I met the team at Bling Brushes. This right here is right after I met the team at Bling Brushes. They sent me this when they were announcing the collection. So um, I am gonna put this one into a shadow box because the ones that I have now are destroyed, but I'm gonna put this in the shadow, the shadow box. Once again, I bought this one when Paige had her collaboration. I bought this in support for her. And then this was just a backup they sent me a long time ago. Now I'm gonna save these because I absolutely do love wing brushes. I think they're so incredible. I love the brushes. I worked really hard on my own brushes. So these are, these are gonna be the ones I save. Some of these are gonna go into a shadow box. Some of them are just gonna be kept here, nice and organized. And I do have some, I do have some spares and bring on the bling collection, but I gotta organize these better. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna put these in there for now. We're gonna figure out where they're actually gonna go long term. So up next, we have this bag from Alter Ego. This is gonna be a brush set with brushes in here. And I don't ever use these. Um, I think I use like one or two. Um, I could definitely wash them up and pass them along because I just uh, think I only use two that are in here and I'm not going to use them. Great makeup bag, but I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. Next, we have this Lisa Frank makeup bag that I got with the Morphe collection and I wanted to love this, but I did not end up liking the collection. The sponge are still in here. I've never even used the sponges, but again, um, it's just been sitting in my drawer. It's super cute, but I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this as well. Really cute blinked out hairbrush. I don't know where I got this from, but this is super cute. That's cool. I think I'm actually gonna save the eye mask for Corey because he could definitely use an eye mask. So I'm gonna save that for him. All right, I have no idea kind of like what's in here. So these are just little cleaning rags we can toss, toss, 
Um, looks like to be an extension cord. I'm gonna give this to my husband. It's like a sleeping eye mask. I think that you can heat up in the microwave. Again, I'm gonna give this to my husband. Random Disney bag. All right, then we have some brushes. Again, I don't ever use brushes. I don't know why. Get some ColourPop brushes. Um, these are super cute, but I'm not gonna use them. I did use them, but I'm definitely not going to continue so we can go ahead and just clean those up and pass along. Brand new brush set that's never been used from Lux Brushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along. Oh my. <laughs> Alrighty, so up in here we have some more Luxie brushes. Uh, can definitely pass these along, never used. More Luxie brushes. Again, never used the little sponge. I can go ahead and pass this along. Oh my gosh, I have tons of individual brushes. Holy crap, all right. Let's speed through what I'm gonna keep in deep butter. All the brushes I want to keep. Anything that's Jacqueline and Morphe, I do want to keep because I did enjoy those brushes. Anything Laura Lee or Refi, I'm going to keep. Everything else that's all the way over here, those are all going to be decluttered. We have a Laura Lee Los Angeles makeup bag, but I don't know if I'm going to keep this. This came in like a mystery box, so we're going to put this in a maybe pile because I don't know. We have Michaela X Glam Light, and it's a cute bag, but honestly, I'm... I'm not gonna keep this. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. Each corn bag, I'm gonna save this because it came with my collection. Lunar Beauty X Laura Lee Los Angeles. Gonna hold on to this. We have a Lorella brush set I never even used. These brushes, so we're gonna go ahead and pass this along. This was a sample of my bag that I was doing when I created my bag with bling brushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along because this was just a sample prototype, but yeah, we're gonna pass this along. I have all these brushes from um, What's Up Beauty, but I'm not gonna use them, so we're gonna go ahead and pass these along. I have my own makeup bag. Um, I actually do use this, that's why she's pretty well loved. I'm gonna definitely hold on to this. We have the Elf X Duncan. I definitely have to hold on to this because it's super cute. We have my Bling Brush Bag right here, the Icy Queen collection, holding on to that. We have my Laura Lee Los Angeles collection with all the brushes in here. I'm going to hold on to this, but it's good to know there's more clips in here because I actually need clips, so it's actually good to know. <laughs> Aww, look at this. What a throwback. What? These are all of Laura's old favorite brushes? Well, shit. But this is like a keepsake because I don't think they even make this anymore. This was a really pretty set that my friend Ashley sent to me, but I know I'm never going to use this, unfortunately. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this along to Better Home. Hot Beauty makeup bag, and we're going to go ahead and um, declutter this. I still have so much makeup sitting beside me, but I'm going to put you guys... I'm going to stop filming right here because I'm going to reorganize everything, and then I'm going to show you guys what I kept and what I decluttered and how this will get organized better but yeah i back guys okay so everything is nice and organized i'm gonna show you guys what i'm getting rid of and what i'm keeping but we're gonna start off with the drawer first so do you guys remember how this drawer looked like before and this is after so it hasn't changed too much but it's just a little less cluttered so over here we do just have my brow products i have three liners some brushes my like cut like clean the brow up some brow gel and some um brow brow clean brow setter you know what i mean <laughs> i have my pomades right back here then we're moving on to mascaras so i only have true drawers i mean i could technically just put these two back here i kind of just leave this a little bit more open but here is just where my mascaras are at right here so i just have my mascaras with a little bit of backup. And then right back here, we do have our loose pigments. Those are all my makeup and murder loose pigments right there, along with a little extra, some um, glitter glue, some mixing medium, and a little bit of the Nikidra Cosmetics. I was not filling it up fully and I need to make sure it fit properly. Then down over here, we do have all of my color pop liners. I try to keep it as organized by color as possible. It does get a little bit difficult, but <laughs> I try my best to keep these so nice and pretty. The only non-color pop liner we have right here is the Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil. Cause I absolutely love that. It's my favorite. I do have some spares back there. Then we do have some more loose pigments. These are all my Unearthly Cosmetics loose pigments, my Naked Cosmetics, my 
um, that brand <laughs> along with a little bit of Ofra and Davina right back there. And then I do have all my Nikia Joy Cosmetics loose pigments right here with the Odin's Eye liner. So definitely looks a lot more organized than what it did. It's just a little bit less cluttered. I think it looks so much better. I love it. Now moving on to the second drawer. You guys remember what it looked like before? And this is after. It's kind of empty. It looks to me so much better, but it's kind of empty because I don't really have too much for this drawer. So this is just going to be my setting sprays and I could push them up this way to make them a little bit more accessible for me, which I might just, you know, kind of move them, move them however I want to. They just push them back to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. But this is my setting drawer right here. Setting, this is my setting spray drawer. And then right here, this is gonna be my new makeup. So this is all my new makeup to try. It's a full face of Revlon. I do have to try a full face of Revlon. I also do have some stuff in there as well, but that didn't fit in this drawer. So we're just gonna have this officially be like where I put all my new makeup. It's gonna be nice and organized in here when the time comes. And then this right here is gonna be my backup. So I do have my Jaclyn liners right back here. My, I do my Jaclyn lip liners back here. I actually have more in a different drawer behind me. It's in this drawer right here, but we're gonna have to organize those at a different time. <laughs> but I do have my Jaclyn liners. I do my Urban Decay, my Nikki Joy Cosmetics. I have my Ofra. I have my favorite Ofra mascaras, more mascaras. I have my setting spray, little powder puff, Jaclyn, and everything right there. So those are gonna be where all my backups are officially gonna be at, all in one place. So I know exactly where to, you know, get them. And then I, like I said, I have some more extras in here that I have to go through. And then last but not least, this was my makeup bag and my brush drawer. Do you guys remember what I looked at before? And this is after. I can officially open it, guys. I can officially open this drawer. I have not been able to in a long time. So here are just my makeup bags from Bling Brushes. My backup Bling Brushes right here. Some of these are gonna be disappearing from this drawer right here because they are gonna be going into a shadow box. Then we have my Glam Light Scooby-Doo bag. Love this one. My Scooby-Doo brushes. Just little spare brushes back there. A little bit of extra makeup bags. My um, e.l.f. and my Laura Lee Los Angeles ones right over here. So definitely looks a lot better than what it did. I'm just going to have my makeup bags be in there for now until eventually I run out of space in these drawer and I need to move it over. Then we'll figure out a different place for them. But I feel like this just kind of makes sense where it's at right now. Now on to what we decluttered. I didn't count this time. It's just too much to count. So we're going to go over here. In this bag is all... It's all brushes. All makeup brushes are in this bag. Now what I can use... Now what I can... Um, like give away like these ones that are in still in their boxes i absolutely would do so or if they're still like completely like wrapped up in foil that means that they have not been opened like this for example i will happily pass along put those in boxes for you guys you know put them in donations and giveaways and stuff like that but everything else has been used and kind of dirty and can't be saved or can go ahead and toss but i have a whole bag of makeup brushes right here with i'm decluttering all my mascaras and like my brow products are being just completely thrown away because that's just kind of gross. You can't really sanitize and clean those. So we're gonna go ahead and toss all of these. Got my ColourPop tossing. I got all of this right here that I am gonna go ahead and toss because again, you can't really salvage any sort of eye products because that could just lead to bacteria and I'm just not, that's just gross. But I am decluttering my Jaclyn liners. Nothing wrong with them. It's just, I prefer my ColourPop over Jaclyn. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter those ones as well. And then I do have these makeup bags. I am decluttering this Pop Beauty this Ultra Ego makeup brush right here, the Lisa Frank, the ColourPop, the two Luxies, Michaela, and my sample bag are all gonna go ahead and be decluttered. And then I have all of this right here. This is all like I, brand new. They've never been opened, never been used. Everything is still completely sealed. I mean, you guys can look at, look at this box right here. Completely Let's sealed. Go ahead and declutter all of it. You guys see all of this right here? Please do. Ignore the mess. Ignore the mess. Okay, we're going to ignore that. You see all this right here? Yeah, we're going to be going through all this and we're going to be decluttering almost everything you guys see because I'm tired of looking at it because I don't use it. Okay, so up first, we do have my Game Beauty. These are the liquid lipsticks. And while I really do love Game Beauty, I really do, I just find myself not really gravitating to these products. And I think the be reason being is that they're just kind of colors I really just won't use that often. They're super pretty. Like, I'm not going to lie. They're super pretty. But I'm just not going to really use like a bright pink lipstick like I'm just not going to use a bright pink 
I'm just not gonna use a bright pink lipstick like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna declutter this entire thing that you see right here just because I'm, I don't get a use out of these. So in the trash they go. Alrighty, so we're gonna start with the bottom drawer right here. So the bottom drawer just kind of has um, miscellaneous stuff in here. It has like Dragon Beauty, it has Robbie Christie, it has Cinderella from Sigma, it has a chapstick, it has some juicy glosses right here. Ooh, okay, maybe this is not gonna be as easy as I thought it was. Let's 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 go to the let's go to this drawer first. This drawer. Okay, so this drawer has um, my glam light, my color pop, and a flower nose beauty. And I'm gonna be really realistic with you guys. I don't ever use this stuff. I'm probably never gonna touch this stuff. So, oh, it's really sad, but like, I feel like I should just let these go because in reality, while these may be like really pretty, I just don't go for like lipsticks as often as I'd like to, honestly. And like with Lunar Beauty coming in, because Lunar Beauty is sending, I think, their entire collection over. I want to make space for that, but I will say these are so pretty. So it's hard to like let go, but I need to be realistic with myself. And I don't want these to go bad. And ultimately, these are going to end up going bad because I think lipsticks don't have as long as like longevity, longevity as like other products do. But. I gotta let these go. Like even like the Glam Light Scooby-Doo collection, you guys know how much I love Glam Light. But these colors, realistically for me, they just, yeah, they just don't work. All right, this drawer has to go. Next drawer, ooh, okay. So this one's a little bit harder for me. Um, if you guys don't know, I obviously have an affinity for red. I love red so much. So this one's gonna be a little bit harder because these are some beautiful red lipsticks. But like, this is my MAC, um, let's see, Fashion Legacy right here, right? This was the first like lip MAC product I ever bought for myself. So you're talking like 2018. That's how old this product is, okay? It smells like crowns or crayons. And this is gonna be the Russian red like lip glass to go on top of that from MAC. I never will wear these again. Ooh, that's so sticky. I'll never wear these again because they're so old. Like they're so old. I just can't fathom using them. So I think, oh, this one actually, <laughs> it's making me a little sad. Like what the heck? What the heck, Allie? This, they're just freaking lipsticks. But this is what, this is my very, oh shit, man. This is the very first thing I ever used on my channel. Like literally my very first video, I use these products right here. These are the oldest products that I have in my entire collection. Out of all my makeup, this is the oldest. And the idea of letting these go make me really sad. So like, I feel like we should just put these to the side. Oh, my hoarder is coming out. Um, my hoarder is coming out. We have it in Natasha Denona. This is a red lip. And um, it's pretty, but... We can let that go. We have a Dragon Beauty. Now, I believe this Dragon Beauty one, I think this one's really pretty. Let me check it. Oh, yeah. You see that? This one, I'll hold on to this one. We have NARS. We have a red and purple lip. Definitely going to hold on to these, but I'm going to let this color. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna let this ColourPop one right here go. And then we do have, this is a Patrick Star gloss that he did with MAC. Again, this is really, really old. Very, very old lipstick or lip gloss. I won't even wear this anymore. It smells okay, but it's definitely, gosh, I'm gonna goes. And then we have a Patrick Tar, a Patrick Taw gloss, and another Patrick Taw gloss. Again, as much as I love Patrick Taws, I just don't use these at all. So we're gonna go ahead and let these go. We have my entire um, ColourPop and Star Wars. Again, I don't use these at all. You guys know I'm not a big fan of ColourPop lip products, but I'm a big fan of like Star Wars. So that's why I held on to these. But in reality, as cute as these are, they're honestly just gonna like sit in my collection. They're never gonna get used. And I feel like it's just gonna be, I don't know if it's gonna grow bacteria or whatnot, but I feel like it's just ultimately gonna end up going to waste just cause I know myself so well. So as pretty as these were, as pretty as these were, I gotta let them go. I'm gonna do it guys, I'm letting these go. Never gonna use them. So bye-bye. All right. 
this drawer right here. Okay, so we have my Hank and Henry lipsticks. Again, never use these anymore. While they're so pretty, super, super pretty, right? Has to go. Gonna let it go, gonna let it go. All right, maybe I'll hold on to this one because <laughs> it's a red. Maybe I'll hold on to that one. Yeah, no. We have a Huda Beauty lip balm situation. Again, so pretty, right? But it's it's just a clear balm. Gonna let it go. I do all these Fenty Beauty glosses. Honestly, these never get used and they haven't even been opened, so they're still fresh in my mind. So I'm gonna save onto these because I still use these ones. So these ones can be spared. So all that we have left now is this drawer that you guys see right here. So I'm gonna part with everything that you guys see in this drawer minus these three products because I generally really do love, uh, and the, I really do love these products and they have not been opened. So we're gonna hold on to these ones. And I'm gonna hold on to the chapstick because you can never have enough to chapstick. And maybe the black Dragon Beauty, but everything else, even like Robbie Christie, Christie glosses and Sigma, all this stuff, I'm gonna let it go. All right, I don't know which one of these damn lipsticks <laughs> stained my hands. Y'all, I just spent the last five minutes like washing the heck out of my hands. I use makeup remover, I use makeup wipe, I use I use makeup remover, makeup face wash, uh, soap. I did everything I could and I am stained red from something. I don't know what it is. Okay, so moving on to the next drawer. This entire drawer that you guys see right here, this is all glam light. I mean like literally, this is all like glam light liquid lips. So let's move on to the obvious of the lip glosses from Michaela, right? Let's take her out of the equation for just a second. We have all these lip products right here. Now I got these back in like 2018. I don't even think glam light really makes these glosses anymore. If they do, it's probably like in their dessert collection but I seriously haven't used these in like forever like you can like see where the product has officially like separated I don't even know if they smell good let me see yeah they smell okay but like I just I guess watch this this is like a chocolate this is from dessert lover I just don't use these I don't use these so I think all these glosses right here that I know I'm never gonna go into while well, as pretty as they are, I just realistically know I'm not gonna use these. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss these. We have these little cool little Glam Light products where it's like a Glam Light lip, lip gloss with a mirror, which by the way, if you guys did not know, Glam Light just restocked their Scooby-Doo bag. It's on pre-order right now, but you guys can go purchase that. They also released a Tiffany, a Tiffany makeup bag from the Chucky collection. If you guys wanna use code AllieD, you guys can save 15% off your order. Right now they're live on the website, so go check them out. I don't know if there's anything still left in stock because they were selling out like crazy and they brought back the Chucky collection. But if you guys want to get your hands on them, they are now live on Glamly's website. But here we have some glosses. Now these glosses right here, wow, that like did not want to open because it's been so long. Let's see. Mm, they smell okay, but like I don't, I don't use these. Now I thought it was really cool that Glamly did this where that's like their lip gloss with a mirror made it really easy. So I have this one. I have literally, I'm not kidding when I say that. I'm obsessed with Glam Light. I had all of Glam Light's products. I mean, like, just look at these, right? So pretty. They're going to go. We have this, 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 and this. Again, these are glosses that I haven't touched in years. I mean, like, seriously, I haven't touched these in years. Oh, this red one, though. I think this is from the Red Velvet Collection. Oh, Wow. Maybe, 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 because <laughs> I don't know. And then we have like this hot pink and I'm going to go ahead and let this go. Next, I have all these lip products from Ofra. You guys know how much I love Ofra and they're really sweet by sending all this stuff over. I am going to go through this one last because it's a lot to go through, but we'll go ahead and go into this drawer. Now this drawer right here has all of my like 
Ace Bute and my Jeffree Star. Now the reason why I hold on to Jeffree Star is not because I give a crap about him and his company. It's because I use these for Halloween. Like those to me, I, I like to hold on to because it's fun to do like really fun Halloween looks and I need some sort of green, white, purple. So I'm gonna get rid of all this, but I'm still gonna hold on to these and um, put them somewhere else because that's just like for Halloween makeup. Then this drawer we have all of my Tarte and my Makeup by Mario, my Blend Bunny, and my Dior. I'm not touching this drawer because I actually still go into this drawer. I actually would like to move this drawer into my main collection because I actually do have to dig into this. So we're gonna still hold on to this one. All right, but it leaves us with the Ofra Cosmetics drawer. Like I said, I like to hold on to fun colors for Halloween. So we're gonna hold on to these three colors because again, very unique like Halloween shades in my opinion. And then I'm gonna let like more of these ones go, but we do have some beautiful reds that I'm probably gonna hold on to. We have these glosses right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and toss these ones. And so, shit. We're gonna save this. You know, I'm just gonna save my Ofra drawer because I I do go into my Ofra drawer. I'm just gonna, we're gonna hold on to this one. I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff. We can hold, we can spare to hold on to my Ofra collection because I still use these. So let's just save on to these ones. And then I do have all my Michaela glosses with Glam Light. And I will say, I actually really did enjoy, I'm gonna get rid of these ones. Like these ones right here that I don't ever use, don't ever really care to use these ones. Nothing against her, it's just I prefer other ones. But I'm gonna hold on to these two because I really do like the dual chrome shift that she has in these components. So we're gonna hold on to these ones. All right, then we're gonna have this drawer right here. Let's see what we have. What do we have? What do we have? So in here, I do have my e.l.f um lipsticks but i know i'm not gonna use these they're not bad i just i don't know i don't need them so we're gonna go ahead and toss the elf products i'm gonna go ahead and toss all of my ColourPop products just because i know that i'm not the biggest fan of elf um, and you guys know i'm not the biggest fan of ColourPop lip products we're gonna go ahead and toss these and then what leaves me left is John Luke Cosmetics. I actually really do enjoy John Luke Cosmetics. We're actually gonna hold onto these ones because the glosses are super, super pigmented and the, the lip liners are just incredible. So these ones we're still gonna hold on to. All right, so starting down, I told you we have a lot of lip stuff to go through. Starting down here, here we kind of have um, miscellaneous stuff. So in here, we can go ahead and start to declutter stuff. So. Up first, we do have a Dominique Cosmetics lip liner. I really do love Dominique Cosmetics, you guys know I do. But realistically, I don't ever really use the lip liners. Um, nothing against them, I just, I don't know. I prefer like, I like a, a flat line lip liner and this is like really thick and I don't like that. So we're gonna go ahead and toss this. Not getting rid of Fenty. What do we have right here? We have two Dominique lipsticks, really, really pretty colors. Really pretty colors, very neutral colors, but again, just stuff that I just don't use. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these ones. We have a Jean-Luc gloss, gonna save that. We have a Laura Lee product, saving this. We have a NYX, this is a milky gloss. Ooh, do I like this? That's pretty. Ooh, that's a really pretty gloss. All right, I'll hold on to that. Jean-Luc saving, and then we have the e.l.f. like, Coffee scrub, toss. Oh, this is Kylie Cosmetics, y'all. This is, if you ever go way back on my channel, I mean like way back on my channel. Technically, the very first video I ever uploaded was me talking about a Kylie Cosmetics order gone wrong and how they corrected it. Really nice customer service actually. But um, I don't use her products, so this entire drawer is gonna go straight in the trash. Then we have all of Laura Lee Los Angeles. Gonna hold on to that. Followed by all of my Lunar Beauty. Although this one has seen better days. I, I probably should toss this one actually. So this is my Starlight Gloss. You guys know how much I love Lunar Beauty. This is bare bones. This is literally empty. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this because that is empty. And so is my shade. There's something leaking in here. Ugh, what is leaking in there? Um, this is the shade called Celine, another one of my favorite glosses, but again, this is also bare bones. I mean, do you guys see that? Look, bare bones, empty, but there's something leaking in my Lunar Beauty drawer. I don't know what it is, but it's so sticky. Ew, like everything is covered. 
Do you guys see that? Oh, gross. Is this one doing the same? Okay, so there's nothing leaking in here, but what gloss is this? Okay, nothing leaking in here. So this one's good. We're saving all of these. I have all of my um, Jaclyn Cosmetics products. And I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm not tossing anything Jaclyn Cosmetics wise. But I'd love to organize this more because it is just completely like disorganized. So we're going to hold on to this drawer. We're <laughs> going to hold on and like reorganize this drawer as well. And then this drawer. Well... All my lip liner y'all and it's so funny i have so many lip liners but like i literally stick to like just a few <laughs> but we're gonna organize this drawer as well so i'm gonna go ahead and like move the camera because like we have like all this stuff right here that you guys really just can't see and i'm going to like set you guys up this is now when we're going to do kind of like a fast forward because i am going to like now organize this you guys will get to see before and after i do have more stuff on my stand it's the blend bunny cosmetics lip glosses i'm gonna hold on to those i'll show you guys what i kept what i got rid of and you guys will definitely see the before and after and yeah yeah, I just, uh, I'm, I'm very proud of myself for getting rid of so much. I didn't think I was going to, but I just, it's time. It's time. It's time to get rid of this stuff. I don't use them and I want to just only have on my desk what I generally use and get rid of everything else that I just don't use at all. Shaking underneath, trying to take me
All right, guys, do you guys remember how this looked before? And this is how it looks after. So you guys can see I definitely have dwindled down how this collection looks. I still have a lot more products than I originally intended. I thought we would be getting rid of a lot and I thought this was all going to be gone, but <laughs> jokes on myself. So let me go ahead and show you guys what we have. So over here, I have kind of like my red drawers. So these are all kind of like excuse me, Mr. Winnie the Pooh. Over here, we kind of just have like my backup. So we have my Fenty Beauty, my lipsticks, chapsticks, and just some glosses that I'm still not willing to part with. So we have that. And then over here, we just have my red lipstick drawer. And these are all like my red lips that I just couldn't part with. As you guys see, I did it. I did it, y'all. I got rid of my MAC Cosmetics, my oldest piece of makeup that I have in my collection. I got rid of it. Be proud of me because I was so hard, but I did, keep, I did keep it going light. So we're just going to ignore that little factor. I, you know, it's so I'm a work in progress, y'all. I am a work in progress. And then down here, I just put my Jaclyn Cosmetics lipsticks and some lip balms. And then over here, we have my Laura Lee Los Angeles store. So this is where Laura Lee Los Angeles is at. Then we do have all of my Ofra products, followed by a little bit of Glam Light and the Jeffree Star. And this is all of my Jean-Luc Cosmetics store right here. And then this bad boy, oh my God, Winnie the Pooh, you are showing off your butt. What is wrong with you? This is a, this is a PG video. No, it's not. Okay, so right here, this is all my Jaclyn Cosmetics products. So I have every single liquid lip in here, every single lip gloss, every single lip balm situation, lip stain, whatever she came out with the boys. It's all in here. And now I can literally see all the names of all the products. I can go exactly. So I'm looking for an exact lip. I know exactly where to find it because it's all showing to me. So this is just the easiest way to store it because her components are actually super long. They don't fit in any of my drawers. So this is the only way to store it. So now Jacqueline will be right over here. Ta-da! Look at this. We have a clean desk. What? What? So over here we have my lip liner. So these are going to be just my neutral lip liners that you see right here. A lot of browns, a little bit of pinks are going to be in this drawer because it's my most used lip liner drawer. Honestly, if I'm going to be really real with you guys, this should just be filled with the shade Bourbon and Toasty from Jacqueline Cosmetics. That's pretty much all I use besides one Jean-Luc shade, the Mother Pucker. Other than that, this should just be a, a drawer of bourbon lip liners. That's literally all I use. Then this drawer right here, this is gonna hold all of my lip glosses that are my everyday wearing lip glosses. I have four more of these, but surprisingly enough, they're all in my bag, like my purse. The four other lip, gl lip glosses I have of the CoverGirl, the Yummy Gloss. Guys, this is so freaking good. I freaking love this gloss. It's in my bag. So is another lipstick and so is my Maybelline Crystal Gloss. They're all in my purse right now. I have a problem, I have a problem, but you know what, I freaking love those. Down here we have all my Jaclyn Cosmetics lip oils followed by my, my um, NYX lip oils. Right in here we have all of my Blend Bunny Cosmetics lip oils along with my Fenty Beauty lip gloss and lip or I guess it's just lip gloss, it's not lip oils, but all my Blend Bunny Cosmetics. And then down here we have more lip liners, but these are all of my red purple black lip liners that are going to be found in here just make it a little bit easier for me to separate coming over here we just have a little tatcha this is a little lip mask we have all of my lunar beauty lip glosses and lip oils all my lunar beauty liquid lips and lip glosses we have an empty drawer for lunar beauty an empty drawer for lunar beauty and then we have all of my like plumping lip glosses plumping lip like, balms all in this drawer right here. So I definitely have done such a great job at really decluttering my collection. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I'm getting rid of. Y'all, look, this one is full. Look how many lip products I'm getting rid of. I'm getting rid of so much. Yes, I am getting rid of the Alice in Wonderland. I know realistically, I'm not gonna use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter these. Now I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, you know, save them, donate them. Honestly, I, I feel like donating lip products, it's kind of gross because you don't know where someone's been. It's very hard to clean a liquid lip. It, it's very hard to clean a lip gloss. Lipsticks are a little bit easier because you could obviously shave off the top, but I just find it to be just a little bit gross. A lot of these are really old. So we are getting rid of so many lip products. I mean, like, look at this. I got rid of all of my cosmetics, all of my glam light minus a few, all of like Robbie Christie stuff, Patrick Ta. I got rid of so many products, y'all. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. That was very hard. But you know, now I'm okay. But yeah, I'm just not gonna get rid of it. I got rid of so much stuff. It just feels so good to finally 
just clean out this collection and get rid of products that I just no longer use and to really kind of downsize my collection because at the end of the day, nobody needs this much shit. All right, guys, that is it for today's part one marathon declutter video. Again, a huge thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members. You guys see right here, this would not be possible without them. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my other channels, R for Life, where you guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video where we do a part two of my makeup marathon declutter series.